Today, Kevin is going to do a blind taste test of summer sausages. They stopped selling our favorite Hillshire Farms summer sausage in our area. And so we are going to be trying different summer sausages to see if we can find a new favorite. And maybe these will be around year round. I'm not sure. We have the Iowa Smokehouse. We have Great Value, which is Walmart brand. We have Bridgeford and we have Clements. So the Iowa Smokehouse was $2.99 and they are from Iowa. This is the lowest calorie one. It is two ounces, it's 180 calories. Then you have the Great Value, which is the Walmart brand. It was $3.98. I should say the Iowa was 12 ounces. The Walmart is 16 ounces, $3.98. And it comes out of Arkansas and it is two ounces, it's 190 calories. So then you have Bridgeford Summer Sausage. It is a 16 ounce uh, package. It was $4.58 at Walmart. It is from um, Chicago, Illinois. And it is the same as the Great Value. Uh, two ounces is 190 calorie. This is the highest calorie one. This is the Clements. It is from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And it was $3.99 for 24 ounces. And it is two ounces or 200 calories. So it goes 180 and then 190, 190, and 200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some slices off each one of these. And then um, I'm going to be trying it too because I love summer sausage. Uh, we love eating summer sausage with, uh, Kevin likes Ritz crackers, I like uh, saltine crackers, and um, cheese, and uh, so it's really, really good. Let me cut through this. Okay, so this, this is going to be the Iowa, and then you just, uh, you pull this paper off like this. Just like off that, like... Yeah, pull it the off casing. like, yeah, the casing. Pull the casing off of each one, and this is the end piece, but it still doesn't look bad. So, I have a plate divided, and I've written the names of each one. That way, like Kevin's filming me right now, he's filming me do this, but he will have no clue uh, the order that he's going to get them in. But I will definitely show them to you. So... I cut these a little bit thicker. Does that matter if I cut them a little bit thicker accidentally? No, I would, you can even cut them in half. Cut it in half, yeah. I, normally, Kevin's the one that cuts these. Yeah, I can. I will probably cut all of these in half. I'll do that um, before we try them. Here's the Bridgeford. I just want you to see kind of how they look. I'll try to be more mindful of how I'm cutting them. You can... Um, Kind of, we'll kind of see the different variations of color. So there's the, the Bridgeford. And then um, lastly, we'll try the Clements. And I have no idea why they're not selling the um, uh, Hill, Hill, Hillshire Farms in our area anymore. I even contacted the company and the company said, well, we are still making it. Uh, but you're right, we're not selling it in your area, so it was like, okay, <laughs> you know, nothing, nothing to be done about it. Uh, they said you could talk to a manager and try to get them to, uh, sometimes they'll order you some special, but they're not selling it in any stores around here. This one's wanting to stick a little bit. Okay, there's that. So here they are. This is definitely the uh, the pinkest one for sure. And you can eat these. These are out in the open. Uh, but if you like yours cold, I prefer mine cold. Um, but if you like them cold, you just put them in the refrigerator and slice them like that. So I'm going to cut these in half so we can try smaller pieces and we'll be right back. Okay, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to hold up the roll and uh, for you. And I will put uh, the name on the screen in case you can't identify it from there, which I don't expect you to be able to. But 
Um, also, I'm going to let Kevin smell it. Should I let you smell it before you take a bite? I mean, I'll smell the piece you give me. Okay. So the first one we're going to be trying is this one. And I'm just going to grab you a slice. And you tell me when you're ready for the next one. All right. As long as you remember what order you're doing. I'm laying them down in, in, order, order. in yeah. the order that I'm doing it. So, okay, here is the next one. Okay. I probably want another bite of all these. Okay, that's fine. There's plenty here. Okay. Peel it up. Yes. Okay. Alright, I have a clear winner. I do too. Uh, can I try one and two again? Yes. This is one. Oh, wait, you have. Or you can have it back. Okay. This is two. Okay. And did you find the one that you think smelled like Spam? Um, the first two taste a lot like Spam. The first one especially. Is that the one? Not for me. No? One or two? Either one of those? Not for me. No? Mm -mm. I don't know. Okay. Um, four was my favorite. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you not like the four as much? Which one was your favorite? My favorite was one. Okay, one was good. Three tasted like bologna. Okay. I thought it tasted like bologna. It was like literally had the same spices and everything as bologna. Mm -hmm. Four, the reason I say that was my favorite is the texture was a little denser. Yeah. It wasn't quite as mushy, it was denser. Uh -huh. um, and the flavors were more what the traditional um, smoked sausage that we usually get is. Okay. Um, I did like, um, one and two were very similar to each other, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, they were very close to each other. Right. So, uh, so I'd pick either, I'd pick one, two, or four. I wouldn't pick three just because it, like I said, it tastes like bologna. But, um, I, I, I mean, I would, four was my favorite, but I could go with one as a second. Um, number three was my least favorite as well. Well, no, Do you want I'll me to take, take, take this off? I'm going to say number two is my least favorite. I'll take this off. Yeah. Number two is my least favorite. See, I thought number two and one were similar. They weren't quite the same, um, but they were similar. Is that two? Mm-mm. That's one. Oh, the Bridgeford? Yeah, the Bridgeford was number one. <laughs> Which one was the um, the Iowa one? The Iowa one was number three. and Oh, and it's both of them. Neither one was like it. And that no. was, I thought that one would be the best no. one. No. The Iowa one was <laughs> out of these four. Now, I'm not saying it's bad because it still is yeah, it's, good. It's good. But I personally would not choose this one again over the other ones. No, did you think it tasted a little like bologna spices? Yes. Yeah, it didn't have the spices and stuff it like did. the other one did. So for me, the Iowa one, one was my, um, one of my least favorites. Looks funny, but we also, both agree. But also, number two was one of my least favorites, and that's the Great Value. Yeah. The Great Value, um, you Is this know, one the number two then? Yes. Uh, normally, Great Value, I'm okay on. Um, it has a little funkiness to it. Yeah. I like would, dog food kind of. Oh, don't say that. 
Was that um, the one you tasted the dots that like smell or smell like spam? Yeah, uh, no, it was the Iowa. Oh. No, yes. Smell that. It smells like bologna kinda. No, it smells like bologna. Smell that one though. That so that tastes like spam. Oh, yeah, I don't want to smell it. I don't <laughs> yeah. Um so so the Iowa in great value, I would not buy again. Right. Um my favorite of the four was the Bridgeford. I really like the Bridgeford. Um, so the, the it's the one that Clements is one was the R4? distributed out of Chicago, Illinois, or the Clements. I liked it too, and mm -hmm. this one is from uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So uh, yeah, both I'm telling of you, those. you take a bite of that Clements, and you think you're eating the whole Charcon. Yeah, it, it I, has a similar flavor yeah. and texture and everything. So either one of these I would buy. I know I that we have seen the Bridgeford in Kroger and Walmart. Mm -hmm. So it, and they have the bigger tubes too. So it is available um, since we can't find the Hillshire Farm anymore. Uh, the Clements, we have only ever seen that brand at Rural King. Yeah. So um, you, I don't know if it's available year round, especially in this size in Rural King, but either one of those I would yeah, go to. I'd go with either one of those too. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.